Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you the 13 steps to assemble the Homal S Racer Gaming Office Chair. So let's go ahead and jump to the tutorial right now. All right, so step one is to attach the wheels. Pop them in there, I guess. Flip this upside down. One wheel in, and you just put them in. Yeah, and they just go right in. Doesn't take too much force. Okay. Got that. Now it says, um, go ahead and get the gas lift and plastic cover. I'm assuming the plastic cover is what I messed up before and it's going to be going this way boom it's nice and greasy for you this probably needs to be at the top but it keeps falling on me oh well leave it like that now step three fix the armrest to the base of the seat so we're done with this for now. Uh, base of the seat is here. Armrest one. Armrest two. Get this out here. Yeah, these are the holes. It looks like you're leaving the inside hole. So these two holes on the outside. Put the armrest in. Right and left, it says. This is the front, so this will be the right side. So keep that over here with this. Now let's go ahead and put the bolts in. Flip it on the side and just screw them in by hand at first. I think that might be the easiest. All right, so the right side's in. Let's flip it up on the side here now. And put it on the left side. So once again, the furthest hole in is going to be left open. Do the two outside holes. All right, step three is done. Let's move on to step four. Fix the control unit to the base of this seat. Please note the direction of the control unit should be on the right. I will need the G times four screw, it looks like. All right, and that's just the regular bolt that I was using before. Control unit. So the control unit is the one with the lever that goes up and down. So this is the front and that's the back and it is facing the right. So I have it upside down. So it's actually on my left side, but I can see it's on the right with it being labeled like that. Where exactly does this go? Right here. Okay. That's where the four bolts line up. Are the bolt holes. So let's put those in now. And the chairs slowly come together here. So just on step four. Now the two front ones, you're not going to be able to get a full rotation in. You're going to have to take out the Allen wrench and put it back in, which will get annoying. <clears throat> all right, so all the bolts are now screwed in here. Let's go on to step number five. Insert the gas lift into the control unit. So the gas lift is on the wheel base already. And I'm going to go ahead and insert this bottom part right here, right there. And we have touchdown. Alright, so that was step five.
Going on to step number six. Fix the angle adjuster on the back of the seat. So it looks like there's a couple different screw holes on the side here that we're going to go ahead and put those angle adjusters on. So these are the angle adjusters. I'm assuming these plastic pieces go over them at some point. So the one with the giant lever on it goes on the right side. And since this is the front, the blue part, the colored part, it's going to go on the right side here, the one with the lever. If you did it right, so you'll need two of those bolts. And the lever is going to be going on the bottom portion. So just like this, on the bottom. Don't put it on the top. So far it's probably taken me, let's see, on my camera it says about 25 minutes from opening up the package to uh, getting to the point where I am right now on stop. And uh, on step six, going on to step seven real soon. So it'll probably take me about 40 minutes total from opening the package to getting everything just set up and finally having the chair ready to use. All right, the right side is on. Now let's flip it over and go to the left side and put this object on. And if you're looking at this, uh, this little part right here, the one that's flat, is going on the bottom. It's going to be parallel with the ground, whereas the top part has a little bit of a curve to it. Alright, so I'll have one bolt that is just nearly impossible to get in any further. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this cover over it. It's going to cover it up and it's not going to be hitting the plastic at all. So I'm just going to leave it how it is instead of hurting my hand anymore. So, moving on. Seems like this is on there tight. The front one is on tight too, so it's not wobbling around. I don't think it would be a problem. I don't know why I can't get that one in any further. It's just impossible. So, fix the plastic cover B5 onto the side of the backrest. So, this is step number eight, and we will need those black screws. All right. So on the side it will look just like this. Take the screw and put it in this black piece right here. Then take your tool and screw it in. Alright, it's on there pretty good. I'll give it one more turn. Now let's flip around and do the same thing on the other side. So this will be step 8 and 9. Alright, put that over the top and here we go. So this is going to be a little bit different piece. You're just going to slide this over the lever. Let's go ahead and put this on top now. Get another screw, put it in the hole. Screw it in. Alright, this is the most difficult part it seems like. Getting this lined up, you might have to come at a different angle here and look exactly where that screw lines up. Because uh, it's going to pop out a lot on you, from my experience at least. So I'm just going to screw this tight now that it's inside the hole. Alright, so moving on to step number 10, attach the backrest. Alright, so we're going to wait to put on the top parts here for the plastic cover until we get the backrest on. Here's the backrest, let's pop it in the middle. going to line up here. I'm going to get my one bolt in here quick before everything moves. And this part is a little bit greasy. Alright, let's go ahead and screw that in a little bit more. Alright, got one in. I'm going to go back and tighten that a little bit more later. Let's line this up. And it looks like there's some room to play with to move it up and down. I can do that later and just loosen everything up and move the backrest up. 
Well, hopefully none of these are hard to get in, like the last ones on the, the seat. All right, that's, that's good now. I'll come back and tighten this side once I get this side in. And this should be my last two bolts. Yep, I only got two left in here. So just well done. Let's see, what time do I have now for this? And I stopped it at uh, around, what, 25, 30 minutes? So I'm at about 35 to 40 minutes total for my chair. From getting out of the package to getting where I am now. All right, those are snug. Let's flip the chair around and tighten up the other side. I did it. All right, there we go. So that's nice and snug now. Just one more turn, maybe? Yep. Let's go ahead and put these covers on now. How will this face? We got how many screws left here? I have three left for some reason. Four? A little bit more. Let's go put those plastic covers on now. What step is this? So that was step 10. Use the Allen key to make the screws align to the holes. Correctly screw them tight. So that was step 11. Now I'm attaching the covers. This will be step 12 and 13. And you'll be pretty much done then. So just like this. Let's go right over the cover here. The problem is you might have problems seeing exactly where that hole is. You can kind of see it. It's nice and tight. So this is how the side assembly looks. All done. I can't exactly see where it goes in. I can see that I'm scraping it. <laughs> I'm getting close, but it doesn't want to take. I think it's a little bit higher up than I think uh, it is actually. And yep, that must have been a bit the case because it's going in now real smooth. All right, so that's step. 12 and 13, let's go to the next page here, and now it's just showing you how to sit in it. So we do have the uh, arch support right here, and then you get the uh, headrest cushion too to put on. If you don't know how to connect the back tailbone uh, arch support, it just goes right through these little loops. I guess that's the way it's intended. You can adjust this up and down oh, just a little bit here, and it just loops on the side comes up the back and right in. So that's how you go ahead and assemble this Homal S Racer chair from Amazon. So 13 steps and you're done. Took me about 40 minutes from getting the package open to assembling the entire chair. If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.